New allegations tonight of a massive CYFD cover-up after the death of four-year-old James Dunkley. Attorneys in a wrongful death lawsuit say CYFD destroyed evidence and forced CYFD caseworkers to hide how they handled his case. Tonight, we're also finally seeing video of how one case was handled. It's video APD has refused to release. A warning, some may find this video tough to watch. What's your favorite, favorite thing about Halloween? Like, um, yes, Pikachu. A friendly four year old James Dunkley chats with an officer and nurse. I like my big trucks. He's polite, concerned about a tired officer. Thank you for asking. October 2019, James's mother had taken him to this Duke City Urgent Care because his arm was hurting. But CYFD and APD were called after what James told a doctor about also having bruised genitals. He said uh, that somebody was touching him, that he would shower with Arturo. Okay. Um, and, and then I asked him, Did he, does he touch you down there? Yes, he touches me down there. Can you do me a favor and show me all your owies you have right now? APD does a thorough exam. Where, where, where it hurts right now? They find bruises all over. He has a black eye, a cut on his face, a swollen hand, an arm injury, and he's still in a diaper. But kid has a, has a lot of marks and bruises on him. There's a lot. That's a CYFD caseworker filling in on this case that day, telling police what she found. James's mother, Krista Cruz, has excuse after excuse. She would tell police she had no idea her ex-boyfriend, Arturo, was molesting her son. Cruz and James are now living with her friend Pamela Esparza and Esparza's boyfriend, Zarek Marquez, in an apartment near the fairgrounds. The couple routinely babysat the boy. Esparza shows up to the urgent care, and they blame the bruises on Esparza's two-year-old. My two-year-old is a very cute little girl. Yeah, she's yeah, very, yeah. very Excuse me? Very CYFD would send James to a foster home temporarily, suspecting Marquez was behind the injured arm, cuts, and bruises on his face. The only worker that had ever investigated the home where he was living was Derek and Pamela, was begging her bosses to do the right thing and take him into custody. And they said no. They said, calm down. That's what they told her. Attorneys Alex Kreka, Rachel Berenson, and Sarah Kreka have filed a wrongful death lawsuit on behalf of James's grandfather. They say during a recent deposition, James's CYFD caseworker fought to keep him in CYFD custody, but her supervisors told her no. They said, calm down. That's what they told her, calm down. We're going to send him home with his mom on a safety plan. 52 days later, he was dead. Cruz had promised she would not return to Marcus's apartment. <laughs> Less than two months later, James is found lifeless at Marcus's home. This is what he told police that night. <laughs> Marcus had beaten James to death. They didn't download any of the evidence. They didn't protect the evidence. And this is after he died. Attorneys today amended the lawsuit to include allegations CYFD tried covering up how they handled the case. CYFD managers directed the investigator, who was the last investigator assigned to James Dunkley's case, to erase her notes before entering them into the official CYFD system. I took a ton of pictures. And attorneys believe all those pictures were destroyed. And she had all of that evidence on her phone. Attorneys say the caseworker turned that phone in and it was reset to factory settings. People need to be fired over this. Her two superiors told her, you will not say a word. You are going to sit and be quiet during this meeting. The attorneys are demanding change. We would love to not have to be representing dead kids. We would love for CYFE to do their job. CYFD responded multiple times throughout James's life to investigate abuse claims. We put an IPA request to several law enforcement agency a year ago, trying to get videos. We were denied. We obtained this video from the attorneys who were also denied, but obtained it, obtained it through the district attorney's office. 
CYFD sent a statement tonight saying, in part, the department will defend against these claims in court. We've posted the full statement on krqe.com. Marquez pled guilty to intentional child abuse resulting in death and is facing a life sentence. Esparza and Cruz are awaiting trial for allegedly knowing about the abuse and allowing it.